Let's go. We're signing in at CEO Geek. We got the man, Lorenzo Hunt, signing in. The 185-pound BKFC champion. He's he's here. He's at the press conference. He's got his cookies. He's got his lemonade. We're all, we're. I'm no drug ever since I had to cut down. I love the cookies. They call me the Cookie Monster. <laughs> they call me the Cookie Monster. What brings you into the press conference? We got your boy Brito. Yeah, you know I've been helping train Brito. Brito's been helping train me. We've been putting it together. Um, I think he's got this in the bag. I know everybody's you know Palomino fans down here, but. Elvin's a dangerous dude, and like I say, he's been training with me. We've been going hard, doing things that nobody wants to do, and uh, he's going to get in there and do what's got to be done. 100%, and you're coming in, you got the three belts. Uh, yeah. What inspires? I mean, I'm, I'm the champ. I'm the best in the world, pound for pound. Uh, uh, Palomino claims it, but he got the belt in one fight. It took me six. I was the number one contender for 18 months. He never was the number one contender. He got the belt gifted to him, and then he defended it, which is cool. But only his undefeated status make him the uh, pound for pound number one contender. I am the best in the world. I've been through the trenches. I'm nine and one. Fuck what you've been reading on the internet. I'm nine and one. I've been smacking them down all over the country. You, know, you understand? Nothing was gifted to me. No friends. No 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 funny business behind the scenes. The contract comes. I sign it. I do the job. And uh, when the contract don't come, it just don't come. So. When we're looking at these guys uh, that's walking around parading with the little shiny stuff and they think they're all of that, I got something for you, man. And same with Elvin. Elvin had to fight. He fought hard. That five-fight win streak was not sweet. All them guys were bigger than him. All them guys were stronger than him. He bashed through that division, and now he's the 165 champ. This is the 165 division. Uh, uh, Palomino hasn't been fighting those big, rough guys. I don't think Palomino could beat Caleb. Honestly. But but you but 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 Brito did, and Caleb's huge. So I, I'm 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 surprised. I mean I'm surprised everybody thinks it's going to be easy. Hundred percent. So do we have a, a final prediction for how you think this fight plans out or pans out? Um, after training with Elvin so much, I just know it's going to be bloody. I know it's going to be weird. They better put the best cut man in the world over there on the uh, Palomino side, and uh, I don't want to see it go to the judges, but I don't mind if it do because I know that. Uh, Brito has the cardio to smash mouth this man for five, maybe six rounds straight. 100%. And what's coming up next for you? I know you don't like to call out any names. They kind of just come as they go. What's coming up for you? I mean, honestly, just think about it. I'm the top of the food chain. It's just like playing Mortal Kombat or anything. That There's that guy at the top that you got to beat. It doesn't matter who you pick. Sub-Zero, Scorpion. You can pick whoever you want. Bring your ass up to the top, and I'm waiting. Certain somebody walked in here, sat next to you, had some conversations. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Oh, man, yeah, he's a the cute little chocolate girl that uh, <laughs> that she slapped me one time and, you know what I mean, threw a drink in my face. So uh, uh, so the Cuban assassin, you know, he, want, he likes to, uh, to kind of get up close to me and, you know, cuddle under me and talk shit. But I can't wait for that fight. It's up to David Feldman. It's up to, uh, it's up to David Feldman Jr. Um, I've been campaigning for that fight since it happened. That's the only fight I wanted. I called him out about three times after three knockouts in a row. If you guys go back, every time they put the mic in my face, I called out uh, Gustavo Trujillo, who was nowhere to be found. So I just kept kicking ass and kept kicking ass and kept kicking ass. Those that have been following BKFC know I posted on my thing. I said, okay, you left, you ran. Congratulations, you went to Bellator. I wish you the best of luck. I'm going to kick everybody ass. And when you come back with your tail between your legs, you'll be begging me. For a fight. Look what happened. These are the facts. Any last words out there, Lorenzo, for any of your fans that are going to be tuning into this? Well, it'll never be the last word for me because I always got something to say. I'm the champ. He's the champ. I'm the CEO geek. <laughs> We're signing out. 185-pound champion. See us on Friday. Soon to be the cruiserweight.